I am so excited for this. Vanity Fair got a first look at the upcoming Fallout TV series being done by Amazon. Uh, photos showing uh, Ella Purnell as their vault dweller, Lucy, uh, as well as the power armor for the Brother of Steel. Everything looks freaking spot on. Uh, how are you feeling <laughs> about this one, Mallow? I saw the power armor first. It was the first, and from a rec- another segment in video that we produced, I pay for Vanity Fair. Um, so I got it in my inbox that morning, and I was very excited when I got it in my inbox. Um, the power armor just looks amazing, and that was the moment that I looked at it and went, they're going to probably get this right. Because it looks it, it looks right. heavy, it looks right, it looks, it looks right. powerful. You know, it it just, it pulls everything together that it really starts to show. And then the rest of the set pictures and things like that, that they showed with it, I thought really added a great flavor to the whole kind of, uh, world and everything. She's got a great looking vault suit with a pit boy, right? Yes. Uh, her dad apparently is the overseer. So this was in the article is the overseer in the vault that she's coming out of. Uh, and that's played by Kyle McLaughlin. Who's a great, great actor. Um, the ghoul looks oh yeah so yes so good um they just get yeah. look we haven't we haven't heard any scripts yet <laughs> it no. could be written terribly but just this alone it could be but it's Bethesda has a a, a much higher hand in this than some of their other stuff in you can knock all the gameplay of like Fallout 76 and and maybe even some of the story of Fallout 4 when it's kind of gotten to everything. But I played through Fallout 4. I was engaged. I thought it was good. I thought the world felt lived in. I thought it was a really well done uh Oh, I loved for it. Yeah, series. You know, I think it's just one of those things that like all they've got to do is get just you know, and and from what everything that I've read so far is they're going to take us to just like the games, there's going to be a prologue kind of thing. The bomb is going to drop. You're going to understand why people are in the vault for those people who've never seen mm-hmm. a Fallout series and stuff. Um, and, and you said it on Twitter. Uh, I said it as well in the show notes and stuff like that. If they don't have Ron Perlman going, war, war never changes. If they don't have that <laughs> starting it off, forget about it. No, but I'm I point, think I'm, they'll do it right. I'm I think they'll do it at that point. Um, yeah. Uh, somebody in the chat mentioned that Bethesda said his canon, yes, and specifically what Todd Howard said is that he'd been approached multiple times about a Fallout movie or show. Yes. And one of the things that Todd Howard didn't want was he didn't want them to be like, we're going to make Fallout 3 the movie, yeah. right? And so the reason that this is canon, the reason it's set up this way is this is a whole new story. Yep. It's new. New characters. New people. Um so that they could stick it in the cannon. And what he wanted was go somewhere else, do something different. I don't yep. want you making fallout for the movie. I want, cause it's a big world. It is a big world. Um, so it, yeah, it looks really good. Uh, Walter Goggins is playing the ghoul, uh, who's been described as Virgil. Uh, he looks amazing by the way. Uh, he's like this cowboy bounty hunter guy, yeah, his facial expressions and stuff like that. Even with the mask and the makeup on and stuff like that. Like, the way he's emoting and stuff like that in those pictures, I'm just like, oh, I'm going to love this character. Uh, This is going to be a funny character. I don't know where they're going to put it, although I wouldn't be surprised to see California. We also don't know when it takes place. 219 years after the bombs drop. So that That part was in the thing. Oh, was it? Uh, So that puts... I'm saying, I don't know where that puts us in comparison to Fallout 3 and 4 and 1 and 2. Yeah, I don't know the... I don't know the history quite as well, but it feels like it's fairly decent in the future. Contemporary to Fallout 3 and 4? Yeah. But but that's that's the thing that I like is is that they are saying that they want to go into a new area, they want to go into a new timeline, they want to add to the canon, like... My thing about building, about world building and stuff like that, and it's the thing that we do so well in, in Identico, you know, for the most part, is I get really excited. I'm like, well, what's going on over here? Yeah. You know, what's this thing that's doing over here? I want to know those kinds of things, and I want to see those kind of things. And they're just, they're going to give it to us with this, you know? And I'm, of all the post-apocalyptic kind of worlds, like Walking Dead and, and Last of Us and stuff like that, I think 
the world of Fallout's been the one that has probably captured my attention more than anything. Well, it's, it's always had a wink to it, too. It never, there were points where it didn't take itself too seriously. Yes. Right. And that's a good thing. Um, show's coming out in April. We don't got long to wait. No. Coming, so Coming to Amazon Prime on April 12th. What this tells me is that this is the first shot for the PR push, mm-hmm. right? Is Vanity Fair. We're going to get this. Then what's going to happen is, is over the next two, three months, we're going to, we're going to get it. Somebody's like dropping the timeline in there. <laughs> um, what Easter eggs they throw the show? Uh, I know the Pridwin is in there. Yeah. Uh, they showed it the Pridwin. there. Um, so that also looks amazing. I think it's going to probably be, excuse me, probably before Fallout 4 then would be my guess. Does it believe in Fallout 4? I can't it's remember. It's possible. It. It's possible. I think I brought it down because mm-hmm. fuck them. Yeah, it, it is possible to destroy the Pridwin. Um, okay, and then I stole all their power armor. Yay, power good. armor. Uh, yeah, the power armor looks just phenomenal. Uh, one of the main characters is a squire in the Brotherhood of Steel. Yes. So, yeah. It yeah, looks the like the show is going to pretty heavily focus around the Brotherhood of Steel, it seems like. We we're going to maybe bounce back and forth between maybe what's happening with the Vault Dweller kind of thing and what's happening with the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, and so I think it's the. I think there's a, some fun kind of back and forth that's going to be happening there. I don't know if they're going to be antagonist or protagonist kind of thing. We don't know yet, but. I think it's going to be, you know, we're going to find some very interesting notes about this as we get a little bit closer. I want to see the first trailer. And if it's coming in April, I think we'll probably get the first trailer maybe January just after the Christmas break, maybe. Um, I'm just, I really want to see that first trailer and see how everything comes together. I want to hear voices. I want to hear the music, you know, all that kind of stuff. Because because for what we've been told is that wink and a nod that you mentioned is going to be in the show. Right, you know the the tone of it and everything like that, that retro futurism and stuff that's that's so prevalent in Fallout is going to still be there. So I, I I'm just, excited. I just want to set the world on fire. <laughs> Come on, I I love their commercials. I mean, all their trailers <laughs> for the games are great. Um, Vault Thirty Three in Los Angeles, that's according cool. to Variety. Um, I think that's I'm great. Good with that, yeah, let's get some NCR in there too. Maybe that's season two. 